Hi, Becky Allred, Becky's Craft Room. I have a little technique video for you today. I'm going to show you how to make some great um, bling dots or jewel dots with stickles and some diamond glaze uh, glossy accents. Now, one of the reasons that I super love these uh, versus here are some regular jewels, and this is kind of the kind of bling dots that you usually get. Um, they're really super thick, and kind of the bigger they are, the the thicker they get. Um, and some of them, I just don't like the look of them. Um, it depends on the brand. Um, but uh, I stumbled on this idea when I uh, made this project a while back. And I'm going to do a separate video uh, for this one. Um, but I wanted something kind of blingy for my tags right here. Uh, but I didn't want all the dimension. I didn't like the looks of the ones I had. So I just started experimenting. And now I'm going to show you the technique that I came up with. Uh, the stickles come in a variety of colors. So there's a lot of fun things that you can do with the different colors uh, and make cute centers for flowers and other projects. Um, I made these, got even really tiny and made these cute little orange uh, eyes for my spider, which I thought were better than red eyes because they're scarier and you're like, but spiders are always scary and yucky. But I thought the orange eyes kind of made this one uh, really cute. So. Now I'm going to zoom in the camera and show you how I got these done. Oh, and before I do, uh, just let me show you another cute little thing I did with my stickles. Okay, I've got this uh, cute little cake uh, box shape. And I took my stickles and I kind of rimmed all the edges of the flowers. And I thought that was a really great accent. And then I also made this uh, big glitter dot in the middle. It just turned out to be such a great project for this case cake slice box. So stickles are awesome. Okay, let's zoom in and look at how I made my dots. Okay, so what you'll need are, uh, you'll need some either uh, some glue dots. And these are, I'm um, using the really, um, these are the 3 16 inch ones. Or another thing you can do, and there's like a bazillion videos on YouTube how to do this, so I don't think I'll make a separate video, but you can make your own glue dots with, uh, this is uh, Iween's Tack It Over, which I sell in my eBay store, and this technique is really simple. You can just get a little glue, start at the tip, and you just make a tiny little, just barely touch it to the, to a sticker sheet. A blank sticker sheet. And you can make them super tiny. I just made one super tiny. Let them dry and then you have glue dots. So those are that's how to make glue dots. Real simple. Um, so anyway, okay, so now what you'll need, you'll need some uh, little punches and depending on you know what size you want. Uh, I'm going to show this one. This is a 3 8 of an inch punch here. You can also use uh, hand punches. Uh, that's quarter inch. That's pretty classic. So you can see I've gone even tinier, and I made some that are eighth of an inch, super tiny. Which I think that's um, so you can make uber tiny dots, and you make like seriously, you can make like a zillion of them and spell out words. You can make. Uh, letters, you can, uh, just like you would uh, a rhinestone uh, design. You know, have you ever uh, bought those uh, um, designs where they're, uh, where'd my little sheet go? Where they form shapes, like they have tiny little rhinestone designs, and it's like th anywhere between three and five bucks just to buy one design. Well, I'll tell you what, get your stickles out and your eighth of an inch punch and you're going to make like a zillion of these tiny little one eighth of an inch glitter dots and it's it's just going to cost you pennies, what will cost you three to five dollars to buy at the store. So these are awesome. Okay, so let's get back to the technique. And okay, so you need glue dots of some kind, whether you make your own with Eileen's Tack It Over or you uh, buy some already pre-made. And then you'll need uh, some cardstock. And then what you'll do is just punch out some circles here. And I'll just do one as a sample. 
and let me, because my glue dots haven't dried yet, so I'll just use a regular glue dots brand. Okay. And so these are um, they're just like blank sticker sheets. They are um, smooth uh, and on one side. I've also heard you can use a freezer paper. I haven't experimented with that personally. Um, if you just need blank sticker paper and you need it for free, uh, go down to your postal store or maybe a UPS shipping store, maybe even FedEx, where they print off dozens of um, shipping labels every day and what's left over is this blank sticker sheet stuff. And I know you maybe kind of feel like a weirdo going in and asking for <laughs> leftover shipping label backing paper. Um, but hey, if you can get it to them, give them to, uh, give it to you for free, you've saved yourself some money. So there's a thought for you. Okay, so you put your glue dot uh, on your little uh, punched out piece and just put it on your sheet. Now, uh, the reason why I'm using this is because it, it helps you to form a nice circular shape. And then it gives, uh, it's just a nice backing. And plus you get that, that little rim, that contrasting rim, which I personally really love. It looks great on projects. Okay, so we're just going to get your stickles. And we're just going to cover this around. Now, what you're doing is you're you're just going to cover this and push it right to the edge to where it even pokes over a little and then it comes right back to the paper. Okay, and you're you're pushing all these particles around so just mess with it until you like it. And that looks pretty good. I like that. Okay. And then you're going to let it dry depending on the humidity of your client climate. Uh, it could take an hour to three hours. Um, I live in a really dry climate, so my stuff dries pretty fast. Okay, and then you let it dry, and then you come back to it. Uh, if you and if you see uh, any uh, blank spots that you want to cover up a little bit more, you can do that. Okay, now here is one that I've already done. Okay, and it's just the stickles that have dried, so it dries really flat. Okay, and then I like to come in and glaze it. And you can use uh, diamond glaze, it's really out of focus, or glossy accents. For the purposes of this project, they will do exactly the same thing. The only difference that I've heard or really noticed is I've heard that the diamond glaze is a little bit thinner than the glossy accents, which allows you to tint it and mix it with pigments and stuff. Um, but the kind of crafting I do, I think they're pretty interchangeable. Okay, do you see what just came out of there? <laughs> I have a big air bubble. So, it really helps to grab some scrap paper when you're just starting. Um, and your initial go, just um, push some. There, this is all out of focus, you can't see. But get it started so that there aren't any air bubbles. Okay, and now keep the pressure going. Now we're going to... Just put it on and spread it around. Get that all covered. And you'll get to a point where you, you stop squeezing stuff on there and you're just going to push it around and make sure everything is glazed. Now it looks kind of milky right now, but it'll dry clear, so don't worry. Okay, if you do get an air bubble in there, uh, I just take a little stick pin. You can either pop the bubbles, sometimes even that won't work, and just drag that bubble until it drags off onto the paper. And you're like, oh, but now there's like a thing on it. It's stuff hanging right off the edge. Like on this one, kind of there's some stuff hanging off the edge right here. That's okay. When it's all dry, I just snip it off the pair of scissors. No big deal. So that's how I get rid of my air bubbles. I just drag them off the edge, let it dry, and cut it away. So, um, okay. So basically, and that's it. In is you have made your glitter dots. Um, there's a lot of um, techniques, a lot of different uh, color combinations you can use. Um, I did this one with some pink cardstock and then silver glitter. Um, I really just like the black and silver or the black and gold. Here's some awesome black with pink ones. Um, and let's see. Oh, here's another note. I just really recommend 
that you use the Stickles brand because uh, I've gone to gone to their dollar store and here's this cheap dollar store glitter and the problem is is you get what you pay for is that cheap dollar store glitter just doesn't have a very high concentration of glitter in it so that I don't know if you can tell the difference but when this dries you, it's just not like you see a lot of the cardstock showing through and you're just gonna have to keep going over it and over it and over it in order to get solid and so I just love the stickles because one maybe one and a half you know uh, applications and you've covered you've got solid glitter on there um, so yeah with glitter glue you totally get what you pay for so stickles is totally worth it um, and I sell a lot of this stuff on my eBay store so go have a peek I'll put the link down below and thanks for looking and have a blast making glitter bling gem jewel dots for your project these are awesome you're gonna love it just another little tip I uh, wanted to make sure and show these uh, snowflakes and um, these are cute this is kind of how it is when um, you use uh, deliberately pick uh, some contrasting cardstock this one is kind of light blue and that's cool okay let's see where is that okay and then sometimes you can uh, you can punch out um, uh, cardstock that is exactly the same color as the thing that you're going to glue it to, like this one, and so the rim more disappears into the project. So I love that. Man, I love these things. You need to make a million of them. Okay, uh, because this technique, uh, it, you know, you have to apply, let it dry, and then apply the glaze, and then let it dry, I recommend that you just keep uh, a sheet full of these at all times. My favorite is the black and the silver, um, so I just keep a zillion of them handy at all times. Um, they're just super fun. Uh, so that is my technique for making the glitter bling jewel gems dots with stickles. So have fun guys! Thanks for watching! Bye!